Welcome to Beast Tales. Can you hear a sound outside? I am not sure whether you can. It is raining outside. When it is raining, what do you think is my favorite thing to do? Yeah, you already know what my favorite thing is, isn't it? It is to read books. And I am going to tell you a story about somebody else who also loves reading books. Her name is Puchku. Yes, that's a very cute name, isn't it? Puchku. This is Puchku. And our story today is about a book for Puchku. It has been written by the Panjana Pal, illustrated by Rajiv Aip, and published by Pratham Books. Now let's find out what is this story about a girl called Puchku. A book for Puchku. Puchku, eat your food. Puchku, have a bath. Puchku, go to school. Puchku, get on the bus. Puchku, do your homework. But where is Puchku? Puchku is busy. She has a book to read. Puchku reads all the time. At home, in school, in the park, in bed, page after page, book after book, one by one she has read them all. She has two friends, Boltu and Dodla. Now Boltu calls her, hey Puchku, 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 why are you always reading Puchku? And Dodla comes and asks, Puchku, you have nothing better to do? Come and watch a cartoon instead. Books are so much more fun, says Puchku. Look, you see a circle and the straight line. Push it in, pull that out and it becomes an alphabet. Line up the letters and you have a word. Words can be wise. Words can be funny, words can be sad, and words can be sunny. When you put words together, they make sentences, and sentences become stories. Read the stories, and whoosh, you are in another world. Boltu and Dodla just don't understand what Puchku is so excited about. But Puchku is the happiest when she has a book to read. But today, Puchku is in a fix. She has run out of books to read. All the books that she could reach in the library, she has read from chapter 1 to the end. What will I do? No more books to read, wails Puchku. Wait, wait, wait. What is that over there? Puchku looks up and sees not one, not two, but three more shelves full of books. More books. Puchku says, more books. Puchku whispers in delight. But there is still one more problem. She is too short and the bookshelf is too tall. There is Puchku looking at the bookshelf. Can you see? There are books at the top of the bookshelf and she cannot reach them. But then this is a situation that calls for friends. But before calling her friends, she thinks to herself, uh, what can she do? Maybe she can use the washing line and climb up. Or maybe she can use mask sari to climb. Or maybe she could just stack up the chairs and the tables in the room and climb up. It would be really helpful, thought Puchku, 
if I could have a giraffe or a monkey or both. But alas, she only has her friends. So she calls them. She calls Boltu and Dodla for help. As quiet as they can, they climb on top of each other. Why are they quiet? Because they are in a library and in a library you are not supposed to make noise. So quietly they are climbing on top of one another. Look at that. Can you see one on top of the other? Bhultu, you are heavy. Dodla complains. I told you not to eat that ra last rasgulla. It's not me, Bolto hisses. It's Puchku. Shh! Almost there, says Puchku. But just then, it all goes wrong. They all fall down. That ah was too much. It could be heard all over the library. What do you think happened? What is happening here? It is the very tall librarian. She puts Puchku down. Puchku is hanging on the shelf, isn't it? She puts Puchku down. Boltu and Dodla have already run away. Puchku looks up sadly. There was a book that she almost had in her hand. Can I help? asks the very tall librarian. I was trying to climb the bookshelf. I have run out of books to read, says Puchku sadly. Why didn't you tell me so? says the librarian. Can you see the very tall librarian? And look at Puchku, so tiny. Yeah, so why didn't you say so? says the very tall librarian. As long as I am around, you don't have to climb a bookshelf. May I pick you up? Puchku nods, yes please. Now, if she picks up Puchku, of course Puchku will be able to reach the bookshelf. So she picks her up and Puchku says, I will take this book and this and this and this. And Puchku is very happy. Thank you. Take this one too, says the very tall librarian. When I was small, I loved this book. You, you were small ones. Asks Puchku. Yes, even smaller than you. But then I grew and so will you. But until then, all you need to do is ask for the book and I will be here to give it to you. Puchku is happy. But why is she happy? Is it because of what the librarian said? No, Puchku is not listening. Puchku is inside her book and she is thinking through a circle and a line and a letter and another and a word and another and a sentence and another and now a story because Puchku has a new book. Ah, that was a lovely story, isn't it? Have you read books that have made you feel Wow, what a story. You should let me know, okay? Alright, till we meet next week. Bye-bye.